everyone welcome back to my channel I really wanted to do a fun video today and take you along with me as I plan for a party so one thing in particular that we love the most is hosting a party hence the name of my channel the house for hosting so what better opportunity than to show you how we plan a party than with another video so we are having or throwing a baby shower for my sister-in-law and she's having a boy which we're super excited about it's going to be the first boy in the family because we all have girls but we're excited we can't wait to see him and love on him but we're going to celebrate him with the baby shower and i want to show you how i prepare for a party so i'm like compiling videos of stuff that I've done all week long, some cleaning and preparing my house and some decorating and some baking. And I also wanna show you how I make a balloon garland. One thing that we always do when we have a party is balloons and I love making balloon garlands. I just think that they're fun and they're so easy and they add a really good touch. So I want to show you how I do that as well. And I just want to take you along with me. But like I said, all of this is in the process of about a week because it takes a while to plan everything and kind of get everything in order. And then I'll show you like the day of how we set everything up and how it looks. But this is going to be a fun video. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Whenever I have a party, I always make sure I clean the house first. I like to take the week before the party and just break it up and do a little bit each day. That way I don't feel so overwhelmed because not only do I focus on cleaning the house, but I'm also working on decorations and food preparation. So it's important for me to take it little by little. I had also recently just deep cleaned my house, so thankfully I didn't have to go over and do all of that again. I just hit the high points, which included the bathrooms and the floors, and then picking up around the house, the toys and laundry. Even though most people won't come in my master bathroom, they'll use the guest bathroom or the bathroom upstairs. I definitely wanted to clean it just in case if someone needed to come in and use it. Again, my bathroom always ends up looking like this by the end of the week because I've worked most days, I've had kids in and out, and stuff just gets set out on the counter. So if I'm gonna have people over, I make sure and clean all the possible areas that people will come in and see.
I always clean out the third car garage so that we can put a table and chairs out there for kids. It's really convenient because we have the TV going and they can watch cartoons and it's an easy place if they make messes. But this garage is insulated also so it's very comfortable and accurate with the temperature. So it's something that we enjoy and I'm so glad that we incorporated it in our house because it's perfect when we have parties. I wanted to show y'all really quick how I do the balloon garland. I have gone ahead and blown up all the balloons, but I want to show you what I use. I have an electric air pump and it has a cord. It just plugs into the wall. It has an on off switch and one of the nozzles. Whenever you put the balloon over it, you just slightly press down and it airs up the balloon. The other side, you can put the balloon on it and then turn it on and it'll blow up that way too. If you're doing a lot and you just need to save time, this side is the fastest and easiest. But I invested in this because we make a lot of balloon garlands for a lot of parties and a lot of events and things that we do. And it just made sense. For the longest, I was using like a manual air pump and I was like, there's got to be a better way. So I saw this and it was like $18 or $19 on Amazon. And it was so, so, so worth it. So I'm so glad I did it. But very easy. If you um, make balloons for parties and stuff, I would say get one. It doesn't do helium. It's just regular air. As you can see, they're not floating or anything. But for the balloon garland, this is perfect. It's exactly what you want. Another thing that we get a lot when we're going to do balloon garlands. So you can go to Hobby Lobby, Walmart, any party store and buy balloons of any color and size that you want. If you have very specific themes that that's what you're looking for, you can do that. Or you can go on Amazon and you can just type in kind of like a theme or a color um, and say like balloon garland kit. And you can find things like this. And this kit came with the gold, the white, and the sage green balloons. And they're kind of different sizes as well. And then it also comes with the tape. And I'm gonna see, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's clear, but it's this clear string tape. And when the balloon is blown up, you take this side of it and there's like holes in the tape and you stick it inside there and I'll show you how I do that. But you can mix it up size wise, but you just go straight down the length of the tape. And then when it's done, you just hang it. So it's, it's genius and it saves so much time. I know years ago when I first started this, I would take string and I would tie it around each balloon and like fish it down the fishing line and it would take forever. Um, so whenever we saw this, I was like, oh, that's another lifesaver. And then also it comes with this called glue water dot. I've used these some personally, I think they don't really work that good, but essentially it's just a little dab of like sticky glue kind of tape. And once you have all your balloons on the tape, if they're kind of falling apart and you want them to stick more together, if you want it more tight, if it's a smaller balloon, you can take the tape and put it on one side and then the other side of the balloon and have them kind of stick together. Sometimes that works. Sometimes I was finding that it really, depending on how big the balloon was, it would pull and it would just not stick or, you know, it would cause it to pop. So I play with that and I kind of see if it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but they do come with that as well in the kit. Um, and each kit's gonna be different price just based on how many balloons you get and what vendor you order it from, but they're you know pretty reasonable. Um, usually it's more expensive if you go to the store and you buy all the different colors individually versus just getting the kit. So try that out, but I wanna do another clip on the next, uh, next slide of me kind of putting together the balloons on the balloon garland and then I'll show you how I hang it as well. This is a perfect example of a mother trying to get things done as well as getting on to her kids. I gave clear instructions of no one touch the balloons but balloons are far too tempting for kids. I blew these up a few days before actually creating the garland and I did it on a whim right before bedtime so we were in a rush and nobody wanted to go to sleep so everyone was doing anything other than what they were told to do. I always try to keep my balloons nearby and when I'm creating the garland I'm just grabbing different balloons not really focusing on which colors unless I have a particular pattern that I want to go by. Usually I'll fill up the tape with as many different colors as I can and then as it becomes more full I can tell if I need to rearrange and pull some out and switch it around. 
This particular set did not have that many gold balloons in it, so I was trying to space it out. It wasn't until I got closer to the end that I realized it didn't have as many gold, so I would kind of go through and pull some out and then stick some towards the bottom so that it looked more symmetrical. But there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You can put them in any order you want or however you do it, but mixing it up always looks the best. So I have the garland all put together except I wait on the bigger balloons and I just put those kind of on the wall and make them look like they're a part of the garland. I have learned that over the years trying to get those big balloons on this tape doesn't really work as good so that usually works really good plus I can place it exactly where I want it to make it look how I want. So for hanging it what I do you can use the tape that comes with it or I like to use fishing line and I just kind of wrap it around like make a loop around wherever I'm going to you know put it and then take um, thumbtacks and stick it on the wall. You can hang this wherever you can find a spot. I've done it on curtain rods before but we have a spot in my kitchen there's like a beam so I'm going to put it over that and I'll show you that as well. So one thing I definitely would recommend is that you go ahead and put your fishing line on the balloon garland. You can put it in sections throughout the garland before you hang it. I would try to put it close together because the more you have, the more area it's hung on the wall or curtain rod, wherever you're putting it. It just makes it more secure and more stable. That's Laura. She's one of our friends who came. We actually decided to have a little girls night the night before the party and just spend some time together. My sister was in town from Virginia and so we wanted to get together and have some fun and she came at just the right time to spot me while I was on the ladder. Once I have the whole balloon garland hung, I get the bigger balloons and add them to any areas I see that need to be filled in. We also had a little banner that said, Welcome Baby. I really love incorporating banners on the fireplace that are appropriate for the party. I think it's a very simple, fun touch to add. And we have a wooden mantle, so thankfully I can just nail thumbtacks to it and hang the banners. Again, these are so easy and they add just the perfect amount of touch. This is the point where I realized I was having it upside down and I had to take it down and switch it. It happens. It's just part of the process.
as I said earlier, we were having a little girl's night the night before, so if you see me talking and just laughing, that's why. I was multitasking between making the cupcakes and hanging out with friends, but I always like making cupcakes for the parties because it's so easy and you can decorate them exactly how you want and it helps save money. So I just get a box mix and make it according to the package and then decorate it with regular icing. You can get these tips in these bags from Hobby Lobby or even Walmart and it's so easy. You just fill it and swirl the icing around on top of the cupcakes and they look professional. Then you can add your sprinkles and we had some little stick toppers on there that said oh baby that we got from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has all different decorations and all kinds of toppers you can put on cupcakes so get creative with it. Honestly it's super easy and your guests will love it. So this was the day of the party. We had all the food set up in the kitchen on my island. I love incorporating different stands, in particular these three tiered gold stands. We found those at Hobby Lobby around Christmas time, but I love buying up things like that and preparing them for parties later because you never know what you're gonna need and they always work out perfect. Anytime you have a party, if you'll get just different plates and dishes like this to set up your food, it goes a long way and it makes it look so professional. Some of my favorite foods were these little French toast sticks dipped in syrup. They were so good and so cute. Also, we had little mini chicken and waffles, as well as brownies and cookies, of course the cupcakes and the cake. And then we had like a sausage and cream cheese casserole along with another little egg casserole. It was like a brunch. So we had all sorts of like brunch foods, but everything turned out so good and it was so cute and everyone had a blast. So here's some pictures from the party as well, just to kind of show you the setup and the food that we did. Okay, so the party is over. It just ended and everyone's gone and I have snuck away for a minute to my daughter's room just to take a minute, just a little bit of time to myself and come on here and I want to say that I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to throw a party and incorporate some things like we did just to make it fun and different like the balloon garland and try your hand at the cupcakes. It's literally a box mix. It's so easy. Um, add an icing to the top. You can do it with sprinkles and then toppers. No problem at all. And set up your food. Make it cute. But the biggest thing is have fun. Enjoy your company and um, be a good host. I love hosting. That's why my title of my channel is The House for Hosting. But I thought this would be just a fun little video. Something different to incorporate. And I'll probably be doing a lot more because honestly we have a lot of parties around here. So I want to share that with y'all. But until next time, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see y'all again. Bye, guys.